and Fullerton City Council members. I'm Pam Keller, former Fullerton City Council member. The last time I came before you was in December, the night of the mayor rotation. That evening, if you recall, I was not planning to speak, but I was so upset with the tone of the public comments that I felt I must come forward. I'm here tonight to apologize to all of you. Our city staff and the Fullerton citizens of the whole that more of us haven't come forward and put a stop to the deplorable, be deplorable behavior that we have seen over the past year. I'm all for good demonstrations. I've stood on plenty of city sidewalks, waving signs and chanting for what I believe in. Our freedom of speech is what makes America a great place to live. Sometimes we need a good scream to shift the attention to what is important. However, we teach our children that with rights come a great responsibility. We are responsible for the well-being of our community. I will admit I have had a very hard time watching people who profess to be protesting violent behavior with what sometimes is close to violent behavior. People who are demanding higher standards on the moral behavior of our city council members and city staff, yet are calling you names on this microphone that are too vile for me to repeat. I have had the same kind of messages left on my own voicemail because I have not come forward and joined the ruckus. The death of Kelly Thomas is a tragedy, and there is no doubt about that. But I have to wonder if Kelly would be happy to know that his death has torn his city apart. I have to wonder if Kelly is watching this from somewhere and shaking his head in disbelief. In my opinion, a tribute to Kelly would be to join hands and work together to rebuild our community, working in a positive way to build a community where a man like Kelly Thomas would be embraced and cared for. How that looks for each individual can be very different. More people being trained in our Citizens Police Academy so that they can help make our streets safer. More people volunteering at the home shelters, food banks, and hot meal programs that have been running seven days a week for decades. More conversing at a respectable level and less screaming. More listening and less blaming. We can't and won't move forward until we're ready to roll up our sleeves and stand alongside our neighbors to do the hard work. I challenge everyone listening to stop, take a deep breath, and make a choice to be a role model to others in your every word and deed. Stop looking for ways to blame someone and start looking for ways that you can personally contribute to the rebuilding of the city that we all mutually love. Thank you. Good evening, Madam Mayor and City Council and staff and the General Assembly. My name is John Murray. I am the president of the Fullerton City Lights Tenants Association, and I want to do something different. I want to be positive and grateful. Uh, it is unusual in this day and age to have to work with you if you ask them. And I want to give a shout out to the mayor and Bruce Whitaker for meeting with us personally and mentoring us through our times of difficulty and struggle. A shout out also to Al Zelenka and Linda Morad for their help, and to Chief Hughes, who's also expressed an interest. But most of all, I want to thank Joe Feltz. He's a mentor. He's helped me to learn how to navigate the intricacies of the civil process in the city of Fullerton, which is in cumbersome, difficult, and long-lasting. But I'll tell you something. If I can do it, any individual here group, small or large, can do it also. All you being um, lunatics don't accomplish anything. The only thing that works is open dialogue, and I want to again thank Mayor Silva and Councilman Whitaker for taking the time to come to us and work with us. Again, Al Zelenka and Linda Murad of Housing and Joe Feltz as, as, uh, as well as the Chief of Police. You've all helped us, and we really appreciate it. Thank you, and good evening.